Good afternoon all, Acid Dave here. Uh, it's Tuesday. Where's that time gone since Saturday? I don't know. Anyway, updates on the way. Below what you see, click the old uh, like and subscribe. Much appreciated. Um, here's what we've done. Catch you later. Well, Sunday morning. That was fun putting that back on by myself. Had to use something to uh, have a bit of extra weight to balance it up. But it's on. It's a life skills morning. Teaching somebody how to service their car. You never know what might need to do one day. So fair play, she's having a go. How many bolts do you have to take out to get to the air filter? Typical forward. As you see, fuel filter change. But what's coming out? That's a bit nasty, isn't it? Start plug time. Old ones out, new ones in. Moment of truth. <clears throat> See what happens. Oh, we have a brake pedal. Bloody hell. It actually goes down, it goes firm. Before it was going all the way to the floor. Hoorah! Happy Sunday! I think we've cracked it. Thank bloody time too. Don't I just love wiring false brake light didn't work? Traced it back. This here wire was broken in the back of that plug. So we just route another wire through because you can't get the damn things out. Join it in, tape it up, seal it up. Job works. Checking this one round. Got a bit of play in that top anti-roll bar bush. Let's uh, see if we've got a new pair and put in there. Make that not so wobbly. I mean, this side's all right. No movement on that, but a bit of flop there. That's better. Don't move now. Rock solid. Bloody marvellous. Well, that's the truck stuff done this morning. Let's have another look at this. Let's see what happens. It's been left overnight. Oh, yeah, we've got a break. Still works. Bloody marvellous. All right, well, we've got a few bolts in on the trumpet. We've got the cab um, mounting bracket put back in. We've had a bit of a tidy up and clean up, clear the decks. We'll get the um, inner wheel weight in, put on the trumpet, ready to get the cast centre back on and the um, wedges bolted in place and hopefully we can get the wheel back on get it back on its feet again but I'm pleased we fixed that and it's doing what it should also we've got a bit of touching up to do on paint because unfortunately things had to come apart to solve a problem that hey ho shit happens but it seems to be good well it's been having a move around to get the uh, yeah the wheel and the other bits ready for the TW but on this 1200 you can see there cracking the sh chassis um, it's like that on the last 1250 we did and the same is down here obviously a bit of a weak spot but then the weld for this gusset plate finishes there so we'll uh, get that ground out welded up after we got it shot blasted one day shouldn't be a problem been there, done it before. Well, we got that weight on, rest in there ready for that to go on. Wedges cleaned up, ready to go, just down there. Got a little road trip now, got some parts to go and deliver for a customer. Well, we got to the destination to deliver some bits. Uh, yeah, Philbert's nuts. They do some nice stuff. There we go. Got a nice online range of stuff. So if you're interested, Google it. And it'll come up. There's a website. MrPhilberts.com. He's my next door neighbour. Let's go to the house with him. Lots and lots of nuts. Lots of nuts. What we got here? Soho Bar Mix. Bloomsbury Mix. 
Mm. Black truffle and sea salt. Ah, morning, Tuesday morning. A bit frosty this morning. A uh, little road trip off up to Bristol direction. Going to see a place about some parts. Uh, this place is full of stuff that probably built Britain. More to follow. Every morning, look at all the flames in the sky. Probably bringing all your avocados and things in. Ah, I'll stick to me. Of them. So here we are, the place that built Britain. Look at all this old school stuff. Gear cutting machines. Look at this. How it's re in motion. I feel like I'm in heaven here. Old school. Absolutely marvellous. I wouldn't know what half these things do. But yeah, they're a good company. Done a lot of work for me. And you wouldn't know this place is here. I'm out on the road. Are these for some mills? Look at that girt thing. Bloody hell. There's a bit of modern stuff in CNC. Absolutely marvellous. I wonder if that sort of thing is out of a steam engine. see what you can do and there's the other bits that uh, I sent up that's the 1250 shaft which hopefully we're going to get that sort of prepared and there's another shaft there for the PTO extension and just look at this manufactured June 1961 Guildford England Here's the next set of um, short shafts being uh, made, ready to be splined and then sent off for hardening. And the pulleys are being done at the moment. And there's the pulleys being done. Once we get the machining done and then they've got to be, yes, they've got to be machined out on the back here. And then uh, the splines cut in. That's another good man, Kevin. <laughs> we like good men. <laughs> oh, wrestling match. It's on. I'm tightened up. Just trying to get that under there and bolt it on. And we can trig it up properly. And get the crane out of the way. Not fun on your own. Ah, time to get the wheel on. This is going to be really fun. Just getting there, just got to jack it up a little bit. A little bit nosy. Yeah. Slow and steady wins the race. Finally, it's back on. That's bloody hard work. But we're done. Back on its feet. Just put the rest of the stuff on now, steps, and then finish the cab off and put the roof on and fill the back end up with nearly 70 litres of oil. Be glad to see this uh, finished and fired up. Ah, oh, the mud wings back on. Ready to put the lights fitting back on. And the support bracket. Obviously that's where we did the repair where it was all rotted out. New wiring loan all tucked in there as well. I think that'll do for today. I'm bushed. We need a beer. 